Hello everyone. Well, back by popular demand is this lovely Hoover Constellation. It's been quite a popular video when I first unboxed this in its uncleaned state. I think uh, it attracted some people that didn't really like vacuums but remembered their mother or grandmother using this and it, it brought back fond memories. So I thought because I seldom show you an after video of after I've cleaned up an appliance, I thought, well, since I have cleaned this one up, I thought I'd show you it now. Now, all the other ones that uh, I unbox and say, oh, this needs cleaning, I need to replace this, that and the other. Well, I would probably say that 95% of those have not been touched yet. <laughs> but because I wanted to play with this one and use it more, I decided uh, to clean it up and of course, take out that dreaded suppressor, the ticking time bomb. So having all been cleaned and polished, it does reveal a few flaws that were hidden by the uh, dirt. But let's uh, have a look at what I did manage to clean up, starting with the carpet and floor tool. It's actually made in France, surprisingly, I noticed when I was cleaning it. Can you remember what it was like before? It's very hard to get this off. I don't know if you have any tips. All Hoover tools suffer from this if they've got wands like this. They all go like that. I've got a lot of it off. I think if I'd spent a bit more time, I probably could have got all of it. Uh, I did take this nozzle apart and uh, lots of fluff was inside underneath these four screws. But it wasn't too bad in the first place, but it looks looks even better now, doesn't it? So there's that. The uh, all-purpose nozzle. Ooh, I have used it, so it's got some bits on. That's cleaned up nicely. Wasn't too bad in the first place. Crevice tool. This was probably the worst. The dirtiest nozzle, the dusting brush. So that was soaked in biological washing powder and most of that came off. I, I took the brush out, you can remove the brush and soak that as well. But it was, it was a little bit stiff. So what I did after washing it, I soaked the brush part in a little bit of fabric conditioner and then just obviously soaked it for a bit and then didn't rinse the fabric conditioner off. I just let it air dry and it's, it's a lot softer. Well, not a lot, but it is a bit softer. So that's good. This tube, that came out well. This one, not so good. A little bit more battered. Now I took the tape off there was, if you remember, tape. Now this hasn't been fixed. I've had a half-hearted attempt at Gorilla gluing it, but didn't work. Um, it does still work like this. I think the, the wand and tools do actually stay on, even though it's sort of not locked in. They don't come off. It makes them a bit looser. Um, I don't know what to do about this. I, I really want to find a, an old hose that's got a handle with this suction control. I've got some spare hoses from Upright Cleaners that have got the correct uh, handle, but it doesn't have the suction control. So I don't know what to do about that. The hose cleaned up pretty well. It is a beige color. It's not white. It's supposed to be this color, honey beige. So again, that was a soaking in biological washing powder for the most part. That's what cleaned that up. I did have to help it with a bit of cream cleaner in some places, had a good rinse. Now what I did with this, I tried not to get water on the inside of this hose because it contains a metal spring, but the thing dropped into the, um, the sink, the, one of the ends dropped in. So it had happened, so I left it to soak, left it soaking in the biological washing powder. So I rinsed it all the way through. But to help dry it, I mean, I did initially have it on the washing line. It was a nice day. I took a photo of it on my Instagram, if some of you might remember. So I did have it hanging up. I had taken off the handle part before I soaked the hose. Don't soak the metal in biological washing powder because you'll, you'll um, discolour it and possibly ruin it. So um, I had it hanging and then I put it in my um, airing cupboard for a few days. And then when I'd finally finished this, I connected the hose to the blower outlet, stretched the hose out, had one end of the hose tucked under something so it was permanently stretched and I ran the cleaner for 10, 20 minutes through it. So now it's, it's perfectly dry. So 
that's the tools. Here's the the cleaner itself. Now, of course, I can't show you inside. You saw inside when I did the initial unboxing. So the inside now is all clean. I didn't strip the motor down. There didn't seem any point. I did take the, the top of the motor off to look at the fan. Uh, fan case. I took the fan casing off, looked at the fans, and they were clean. So there was no need to go any further. I didn't want to risk doing something and, and breaking it. I did take the suppressor out. The suppressor is gone, so I can switch this on and off now without fear of it blowing up. The suppressor didn't look like it was going to blow, but you can never tell. And it's just all, it's, I've cleaned it, you see, and polished it. Um, again, T-cut actually is what I used on this. I cleaned it first, normal hot soapy water, dried it, and then I used some T-cut. And I used a T-cut, I, I took this, um, bumper off as well that came off soaked in biological powder and uh, a bit of sif to clean that um, the handle came off and was soaked a bit of sif but uh, the rest of the body was tea cutted and then finally some car polish to bring out that retro 70s shine look at it and of course inside oh I've, I've cleaned all the cable again cream cleaner sif or similar I've cleaned the strain relief debris at the back we've got now oh it's still not got a genuine bag in but i have got some new genuine bags but i i did wash hand wash the filter um it was dirtier than it looked in the initial video i think it shrunk slightly it still fits but i think it has shrunk but not by a great degree so it's still all it's all okay you can see it's all clean now look clean as a whistle so I thought I did get a comment fairly recently saying are you ever going to show us an after video so here is, here's the first after video there will be more to come I'm sure once I get myself organized some of you know I am going to be selling some vacuums probably certainly not any of the 70s or 80s Hoovers or Electroluxes and I won't be getting rid of those at this stage but um there are some that possibly could be sold on, but I do want to clean them up first, you know. But this one is one that's going to be in my collection for a long time. A, a similar one went on eBay. I think it went for about £155 fairly recently, time of making this video. I think it was a slightly earlier version because it had the toggle switch rather than the rocker and it had the earlier flip over floor tool. So somebody obviously wanted that I half thought about bidding on it but when it when I saw it going up I thought no don't be greedy Roger you've got one and you're happy with it and you've also got the blue and white one um, which is basically brand new so I thought some other collector can have that so here it is well that's uh, got you up to date with this but we can't have a video showing you this lovely cleaner without it having a full house clean. So obviously I'm not at home, I'm in a tidier house than mine. So let's spread the wings of this Uber Constellation and clean every room in the house, including the stairs. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy a little bit of retro cleaning with the Hoover Constellation. Here goes. <laughs> 